why the Lord reveals demons in the eyes of people to you. When you can discern and see in the spirit, you will often notice demons manifesting in the eyes of people. Their eyes are the windows into their soul. Their soul is their mind, their will, and their emotions, who they really are. So if they have hatred, anger, jealousy, and evil in their hearts, then you'll often be able to see it in their eyes. Their demons will glare at you and try to intimidate and get you to be in fear and obedience to them. The person with the demons cannot hide them as the Lord shows you who they really are in the spirit. As much as they try to disguise and act good, smile, or say things that appear to be nice to deceive you into believing they are for you. When they stare at you, the demons in them want you to look away from them first, as they want you to feel intimidated and afraid of them so that they can dominate and control you and get you to submit to them. When they cut their eyes at you, their eyes will often look like a reptile. They will often have dark or black eyes with a light or white vertical slit, similar to a snake or a reptile that you can see for a second or two. They aren't able to stop themselves from manifesting like this in their eyes or looking evil because it's what's in their soul, which shows you that they're not for you and not to be trusted. You know, they're actually going to be against you. So they will often act, though, like they love you to your face or in front of a group of people to try and convince you that they're in favor of you, but really uh, are seething with hatred and jealousy inside their hearts and their soul for you. So the Lord is revealing to you who they really are, so you will know what's in them and who they really are, and that they're not to be trusted. They're jealous, they're angry, have hatred, and as much as they try to do or say nice things about you in front of others, eventually their fruit inside their hearts and soul will be exposed over time. You'll eventually learn that they were never for you, wanted to destroy you, so uh, we'll lie about you to as many people as possible and try to get them to hate you as well. You must have nothing to do with them. Block them, remove them from your life, or they will be like Judas and betray you and cause great damage to you. So be aware to not trust them because eventually they will be even more exposed to you and the intentions of their hearts and you will learn over time how they have plotted against you, been jealous, gossiped, and slandered you. Don't ignore what the Lord is revealing to you in the spirit as it's for your own protection. Not everything that glitters is gold. Now, of course, if they get healed of their soul wounds and get delivered from their demons, then you'll no longer see those demons in their eyes and they will be able to be trusted. So I have a book called Freedom from Soul Wounds and Demons. It's available on Amazon, paperback, Kindle, and Audible. It's helping people to get healed of their wounds and delivered of their demons. I also do personal sessions for people. If you're interested in that, go out to our website, restoredtofreedom.com. Click on contact me and submit the form. Or you can call 317-459-7091. Thanks.